one of our most celebrated artists, Sayyid Raza, who belonged to the progressive group of artists, um, has done some amazing abstract paintings which resemble some of the tantric symbols. Now there has been of course a great controversy about this because when you look at those works, the first traditional symbol that one can refer to is of course the tantric mandala and the very vast repertoire of tantric images which are used in ritual and meditation. Nevertheless, the kind of interpretations that have been given by many modern uh, historians, art historians, is that you know these paintings are coming out of Raza's understanding of the evolution of form and they're inspired from nature. They're inspired from uh, a similar source as Paul Klee talks about in The Thinking Eye, that the first form to, to be born was of course the bindu, the point, and from the point comes the line, and from the line comes other primal shapes, such as the triangle, the circle, the square. Now when we look at his very prominent work on the bindu, which has a very dark black circle right in the center, and around either below it or around it you have different geometrical configurations and this he explains as the void out of which the universe is born then his images of concentric circles it's a cosmogram that you find in the tantras and in hindu thought so i am one of those who believes that you know he may not have been consciously inspired but he was obviously subconsciously these ideas were permeating in his mind and there are lots of beautiful parallels that one can find in his geometrical abstraction which uh, resonate and mirror uh, the tantric abstractions of earlier time and this rose raises the whole question that um, is there something ancient about modern art or is it that something modern about tantra art